So cancer begins in a single cell, right? Which is a tiny building block of your body that works alongside trillions of others to keep you alive. Inside every cell are genes, which are like instruction manuals written in DNA. These instructions tell the cell when to grow, when to divide into new cells, and when to die. This system is tightly controlled to keep everything running smoothly. But what happens when those instructions go wrong? Imagine a man who works installing insulation, a product known to contain asbestos, which is a cancer-causing material. One day, a tiny asbestos fiber floats into his lung and lodges near a cell. The body sees this invader and reacts with inflammation. Imagine an emergency alarm going off signaling for help. Nearby cells start dividing quickly to repair the area, which is normally helpful. But during all of this activity, one of the dividing cells makes a mistake when copying its DNA. This mistake, called a mutation, happens in a gene called ROS. Now here's the problem. ROS is a gene that acts as a gas pedal for growth. The mutation makes it get stuck in the on position, causing the cell to grow and divide faster than it should. The cell isn't cancer yet, but it's starting to break some of the rules in the body's typical playbook. Over the years, more trouble follows. The man smokes cigarettes and chemicals in the smoke damage his DNA even more. Now another mutation appears, this time in a tumor suppressor gene. If ROS is like a gas pedal, tumor suppressor genes are the brakes. When these brakes are broken, the cell loses its ability to stop growing. With both gas pedal and brakes malfunctioning, the cells divide out of control, eventually forming a small hidden lump in his lung. But cancer isn't just about growing. The cells also start to change in other ways. Some gain the ability to move around by activating mobility genes, the same genes healthy cells use to travel to fight infections. The cancer cells also hijack the body's healing system, tricking it into growing blood vessels vessels to feed the tumor. Eventually, one of these mobile cells slips into the bloodstream and travels to the man's pelvis, where it sets up a new home. This is called metastasis, and it's a hallmark of advanced cancer. So by the time the man feels short of breath and visits the doctor, the cancer is spread too far to remove. Chemotherapy is used to kill the fast-growing cancer cells, and for a while, it works. But cancer cells are survivors. They mutate again, finding ways to resist the drugs. Eventually, the cancer spreads throughout his body, and despite treatment, the man passes away. Cancer, at its core, is a disease of genes gone wrong. But those genes aren't foreign. They're the same genes your body uses to grow, heal, and survive. It's as if cancer is using your body's playbook against you, twisting normal processes into something extremely destructive. That's why cancer is so hard to fight. It's not an outside enemy. It's a corrupted version of yourself.